Oh my god. It has been such a long time since I've done a drive with me. We have so much to catch up on. Like, I mean, I guess I have so much to catch you up on because you're the one watching my video, but like, give me some life updates in the comments, please, because I give a fuck what you guys are up to as well, because I feel like I know a lot of you personally just through like YouTube, even though I've never met you. Give me a life update. It's been such a long time since I posted a drive with me video on this channel, in, in general, not even on this channel. Um, hold that thought, you already know what time it is. Hi there, my name is Abby. What can I get started for you today? Hi, I'm gonna get a grande iced chai latte with uh, soy milk, please. Yeah, no problem. Actually, you know what, can I do coconut milk? Of course, no problem. And a pump of vanilla in that. Yeah, just one pump? Yes. Do you think I'll taste it if it's one pump? Yeah, I think so. I could do one and a half if you like. Yeah, let's let's do that. Sure, just to make sure. Thank okay. you. No problem. Anything else? That's it. Perfect, my friend. Just your name. Ashley. Awesome, Ashley. You can pull on up. I'll have it ready in a minute. Thank you. She is so friendly. She said, perfect, my friend. What's your name? Okay. <laughs> like, girl, first of all, we're not friends. But, okay, like, you're so sweet. <laughs> just kidding. It's been so long since I've done this in this drive through Oh my god, I feel like I'm in 2018 again. I'm on my way to my ex's house. Just kidding. Thank you. No worries. I have like 40 cents. I'll use this and then I'll just pay the rest through here, please. Alright, so today we're doing a life update video because I feel like it's been a minute and I feel like in upcoming videos i'm going to be talking about certain things and then i'm going to be like oh wait you guys didn't know about that so i may as well just fill you in now so we can chit chat a little bit and i want you guys to update me as well like this is not no one-sided relationship i care about you guys too so give me some life updates in the comments please let me know what's going on did you and your boo break up you got a new job you graduated school you started school like let me know what's happening because i feel like I've been gone for so long, I don't even know what you guys are up to, and I miss you guys, and I'm scared that like some of my favorite commenters, you guys are, I love you guys all, but like, I got my little favorites, you know? The ones that are like always up in the comment section, the ones that I really remember. Um, I'm scared you guys left me. I hope you didn't, I hope you didn't. Jamila, where you at? Let's start with, ooh, where do we start? Where do we begin, bitch? I don't even know, oh my God. Let's start with right now, I'm on my way to the city. Um, oh wait, you guys probably think I live in the city. I don't live in the city anymore. Let's start there. Let's start there. I moved. I moved again, I know, I know. I remember being younger and watching YouTubers and they were moving every year and I was like, why are these bitches always moving? Like, is it a YouTuber thing? And I used to talk about it in my videos and I don't think I move because I'm a YouTuber. I think that most YouTubers, they just like make more money every year, so they just start renting better properties every year. That lifestyle creep creeps the fuck up on them. Me personally, it's always been something different. Like, I don't know. Anyway, so I moved. If you guys didn't know, I lived in downtown Toronto and I had been there for about two years. I lived in Toronto for multiple years, but downtown specifically started about two years ago. And I lived many lives there. I had many jobs. I had many different friends. I you know, dated a lot, and I finally made the choice to come back to this suburban life because I'm going back to school. I know, I'm going back to school. So it made the most sense for me to move back to my parents' house because I wanna save my money, I wanna get my education, and I wanna get out as soon as I graduate. So, Going back to school for me was a choice that I made for myself. Nobody told me to go back. Nobody forced me to go back. Like, there was no pressure. Everybody had already accepted, like, Ashley's not going back. Like, they really had accepted that. And I'm like, ooh, let me shock the fam. And I told them I wanted to go back. So I made the move. And honestly, I loved living in downtown. I love it. But I don't know, man. Like, I think it's just not the time for me. I want to live alone in Toronto. I don't want to have roommates. I want to be able to afford all of the things that I want to do. Like, when you're living in downtown and you're spending so much money on rent and on car insurance, on things like that, like, it's harder to enjoy experiences because now you have to think twice about what you're spending your money on because your bills are so high, right? So yeah, I can work more hours, but then it's like, I'm not enjoying myself, right? So it's just kind of like, what struggle do you want to have? 
kind of thing you just it's like it's pick a struggle really that's it's really what it is pick a struggle so it just got a little bit exhausting you know so yeah it, that's not even why i left because I, I was able to manage but it's more so the whole school thing um i'm gonna go get a bagel so i will be right back i just got my bagel and i also asked the guy that worked there if he could put some oat milk in here because it's so sweet it helped a bit i got it at a spot called am bagel sesame seed bagel with turkey provolone spinach mayo hot sauce tomato salt and pepper it is so good but i think it has to do with the hot sauce they use it's like crack the hot sauce and the mayo they use mm. my sister put me on and it is delicious oh i think there's bacon in it as well actually that focus was great wow do you see that mm. honestly i think it's the hot sauce this is not a regular bagel because i bought the ingredients i mean like spinach turkey like you can get that anywhere right but it just it doesn't it doesn't hit the same it really doesn't i think they put crack in here anyways so some more life updates for you i've been dating quite a bit i'm single very single right now i was getting to know somebody for like a month or so um it was seemingly going well like i was feeling his vibe i liked a lot about him but i think that like now i'm really picky about the people that i'm allowing into my energy and like he was just i don't know i guess like incompatible with me there was a certain point in my life where i didn't really take the time to really think about compatibilities because compatibilities they don't really change core things that are a part of someone's personality i can't really hope that that'll, that'll change because the last time i hoped that that would change I ended up in a three-year relationship that really fucked me up. You know what I mean? So now I'm very careful when I'm getting to know somebody. I'm like, okay, if I see what I need to see, I'm out. Respectfully. Right? And like, you know, so that kind of went on for about a month or so. We didn't even see each other that many times, to be honest. But like, through texting and through phone call and through the couple dates we had, like, I saw enough red flags that in my eyes were red flags maybe somebody else would have been okay with these things but i wasn't and i just knew that like to my core i i just could feel that we were the incompatibilities would come later and i saw what i needed to see so that was like my most recent dating experience i literally ended that like last week and i'll probably give you guys more tea on that later but <laughs> for now let's just leave it at that but yeah, I was like serial dating for the first couple months of the year. I have a whole video on that. I developed feelings for somebody that literally went nowhere. I didn't even want it to go anywhere. But like, you know, when you accidentally fall for somebody and then you're kind of like, oh, what do I do with these emotions? It was one of those. Um, these stupid fair inspectors. When you're taking the streetcar in Toronto, sometimes the fair inspectors get on the on the bus to check if you pay it or not because it's very easy to get on the bus here without paying. Like you don't pay for the bus in toronto like you know people in new york don't pay for the subway you do not pay for the bus in toronto if i get on the bus with someone and they pay i'm like you're trying to do a good deed or something like it's just too easy you know so i'm seeing the fare inspectors across the street right now and like i got anxiety for a second i'm like wait i'm in my car what are they gonna do ask me to see my proof of payment like it just stressed me out just a re reflex you know those stupid little vests i hate a stupid vest some more life updates for you. Yeah, I moved. I'm going back to school. Oh, I don't have a cat anymore. I don't have a cat anymore. That is like something I never really talked about. Hold on. So like... <laughs> wow. I'm not going to give a whole story on this. Maybe one day I'll choose to expose myself. But that's not today. I basically co-parented a cat with someone and eventually came to the decision that it wasn't a good idea. So, he got the cat back. Uh, so that's why the cat was in some of my videos and not in some of my videos because I would have him for three weeks 
give him back. We'd switch, 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 switch. I loved that cat though. I still do. I love that cat so much. Um, honestly, like, I built a closer bond with that cat than I did with Aiko. I don't know if you guys remember Aiko. If you do, you're an OG. Um, but yeah, this cat to me was like, I don't know, I was just like, oh, it just came at the perfect time, you know? I still see it, but I miss, oh my god, why am I so unfocused? Yeah, I still see the cat, but I miss having, like, you know, like, having a cat all the time. Like, I miss being a cat mom. I'm not, I'm not the mom anymore. But sometimes I still feel like I have a say, but I don't. It's not my cat. But it was for the best because I ended up making the choice to move back to my parents anyways, and they would not have accepted a cat. So, it made sense. I have a new job now. Woohoo. I feel like every, um, every few months, I'm like, I have a new job. Do you guys want to hear all the jobs I've had since I moved to Toronto? Okay. I worked at a smoothie shop because I was depressed. So I worked there for like a couple weeks, like literally two, three weeks. Just, I, I'm telling you, I was literally so depressed. I needed a job to distract myself. So I got a job at a smoothie shop. It was the worst job I've ever had in my entire life. And it was severely underpaid. And I would never do it again. Oh my God, they have like a little thrift, outdoor thrift shop here. Oh, that looks cute. I don't even count that one. It was literally like two weeks. Two weeks. They never even paid me in full, to be honest. Um, I worked at, oh, I worked at a dispensary. That was chill, it was, it was okay. Dispensaries are super chill. Like if you wanna get paid to do nothing, and virtually no cleanup. Go work at a dispensary, bro. Go work at a dispensary. You, you get paid to do nothing all day. Oh, I worked at a restaurant. Actually, it wasn't really a restaurant. It was a members only lounge. Well, no, it was a restaurant. So basically, it was, it was a private members lounge. And they had a restaurant on the fourth and fifth floor. And I was a server. And I was making good money there. Like, the tips were so good. And, um,. It was private they only had like 300 something members so like it was a very private place lots of corporate events but i um felt very disrespected there and serving i've realized is not for me and i actually like had <clears throat> two really bad days in which i lost my shit and walked out mid shift and the second time i did that i never looked back first time i did it was on my birthday and i came back a month later <laughs> The next time I did it, I, I'd had enough. I'd had enough and I was like, I'm over this, I don't need this shit. So I literally ran out because I had to, because if not, they would like find me. <laughs> I say it like they're gonna like detain me, but like I didn't wanna have the conversation with too many people. I left and I sent in my effective immediately letter of resignation the next day, never looked back. I also worked at another restaurant for about a week and a half and then I got fired. <laughs> I didn't want to be there and they knew it. So, yeah. And then I worked at another member's lounge, which I really like. I really like this one. I really, I'm not serving. I'm doing like reception, admin work. Um, these are all just like part-time jobs for while I'm in school. None of these are my career, but yeah. So none of these are permanent. But when you're not posting on YouTube, you kind of have to like <laughs> go get a job, which has been an adjustment. It, it was an adjustment. Now I'm used to being a working girl, like not that kind of working girl, but you know, um, at first, like the, my first dispensary job, no, my first booster juice, my, my first that smoothie job was my first job in years. That was hell. I was like, what? You guys expect me to be at a certain place at a certain time? I have to check my schedule before I make plans. Like. I just like, that's why I quit. I was like, I don't need this, you know? So that's some updates. I'm on my way to work right now, actually. I still work in the city. So I feel like I haven't even had the chance to miss the city yet. Cause like, honestly, as silly as it sounds, I feel like I still live here. Like, I genuinely feel like I still live here. <laughs> Cause I'm here every single day, every day. But yeah, those are some updates. Like, I don't really know what else to give you guys. Like so much has happened. But so much is like probably not relevant to this video, you know what I mean? There's also things I want to tell you, but I know I shouldn't because there's other people involved. 
I love exposing myself. Like, that's the thing. Like, I wish I could just expose myself without the repercussions of other people, you know? Like, without any consequences. Because if it were up to me, I would give you guys all my tea. All of my business. All of it. But it's not up to me all the time. Sometimes other people are involved. But I do want to do a video, like, ranking all my, like, dates this year. Because there were so many. Oh, there's a cop behind me. Okay, guys. Well... That's my short little life update. I know it's not the most entertaining video, but honestly, like, I just wanted to fill you guys in a little bit before I start posting consistently again. Hopefully I start posting consistently again. I don't want to make no promises, but it's difficult because again, I am living in my parents' house. So I don't film when people are home. That's just, it's always been me. I've never felt comfortable filming when people are home, whether it was my cousin, my former roommate, my family, like no matter who I live with, I don't want to film when anyone's home. So it's difficult because both my parents work from home. So I don't really get a minute alone. So if you see a lot of car videos, just bear with me until one of them goes on vacation or something. Um, you know, it's, it's just tough for me now because I don't have that luxury of living on my own anymore, which I miss. And I knew I would wish that I took advantage of it when I had the chance, but I didn't. So I'm gonna hopefully do better. But for now, just enjoy the content I have. Binge some stuff, rewatch some stuff if you haven't already. And I do have another video dropping this week. Uh, sorry, next week probably. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys are enjoying my content. But I miss you guys. And I'm going to finish this bagel and my iced chai latte. And go to work. I actually start in 10 minutes. Fun fact. <laughs> I start in 10 minutes. So yeah. <laughs> hopefully i get there on time all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys